Ready, set, go! High five! Great job in that race, Joanne. Let's talk about some strategies for winning. Let's talk about strategies through which stem cells can win. I'm Peggy Goodell, and I'm a professor at Baylor College of Medicine. And I'm Joanne Sue, and I'm the PhD student in the lab. And today we're going to talk to you about our paper that was just published in Cell Stem Cell. So what are some different ways that a stem cell might win? It could simply have increased self renewal. It's a stem cell after all. Or it could simply do better in an adverse environment. Or it could just have good luck. Clonal hematopoiesis is a natural paradigm in which stem cell winning is revealed. Competition in the bone marrow is dynamic over time, especially as stem cells acquire mutations with age. Some mutations may confer a fitness advantage, resulting in the expansion of certain mutant clones in the blood. This phenomenon, called clonal hematopoiesis, is increasingly prevalent with age. We next asked whether external stressors, such as chemotherapy exposure, can accelerate the progression of clonal hematopoiesis. For example, what happens in the bone marrow when patients with cancer are treated with chemotherapeutic agents? A subset of these patients go on to develop secondary hematologic malignancies, known as therapy-related acute myeloid leukemia and myelodysplastic syndrome. In collaboration with Dr. Koichi Takahashi, we found that 20% of therapy-related AML and MDS patients treated at MD Anderson Cancer Center harbored truncating mutations in a gene called PPM1D. Upon further stratification, we discovered a significant association between PPM1D mutations and prior exposure to platinum-based agents and etoposide. So what is PPM1D? It encodes a phosphatase that negatively regulates the sensors and effectors of the DNA damage response to return the cell to homeostasis following repair of the damage. Now to understand how PPM1D mutants win, we mixed wall-type cells with isogenic PPM1D mutant cells generated by CRISPR and tracked competition dynamics in culture over time by flow cytometry. In the absence of stressors, PPM1D mutants do not have an advantage over wall-type cells. However, following treatment with cisplatin, we observed that PPM1D mutants are more resistant to apoptosis, and this translates to a competitive advantage that is compounded after multiple rounds of chemotherapy exposure. To model stem cell competition in an in vivo context, we next generated a novel PPM1D mutant mouse model. We performed competitive transplantation by mixing bone marrow cells from PPM1D mutant and wild-type mice in a specific ratio and transplanted a mix into lethally irradiated recipient mice. Following engraftment, we tracked peripheral blood chimerism at multiple time points by flow cytometry and observed that at baseline, PPM1D mutant cells did not win. But when the recipient mice were exposed to multiple rounds of cisplatin treatment, we saw a significant expansion of PPM1D mutant cells in the blood. Furthermore, we found that PPM1D mutants win after exposure to some agents, such as cisplatin and doxorubicin, but not all agents, as seen with vincristin. This project has really reminded me about the evolutionary pressures that you can find in ecological environments that I learned about as an undergraduate. Yeah, I remember about that story, the moths in England in the 1850s. Rare dark-colored mutant moths were observed among a population of light-colored moths. They perched on trees and were occasionally preyed upon by birds. However, when the Industrial Revolution generated pollution that darkened the trees, the dark moths acquired a fitness advantage by nature of better camouflage from the birds. These studies reveal that Darwinian selection for stem cell variants is ongoing all the time in our bodies. We think that understanding the relationship between specific drivers and different stem cell mutations could be very clinically relevant in the future. Particularly for patients undergoing chemotherapy. This concludes our story about one strategy through which stem cells can win. We hope you enjoy our paper.